Welcome to Sato Cario Online Nursing Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss 15 cardiovascular system multiple choice questions for AIMS Nursing Officer Recruitment Exam, September 16, 2018. This is the part 2 video. It, it is a continuation of the part 1 video. Let's go for the first question of the day. Cuff is a side effect of which antihypertensive medication? Option A, calcium channel blockers. Option B, beta blockers. Option C, ACE inhibitors. Option D, diuretics. Cough is a side effect of which antihypertensive medication? The right answer is ACE inhibitors. Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. Let's see the rational here. Cough is thought to be linked to the suppression of angiotensin converting enzyme which is proposed to result in an accumulation of substances normally metabolized by ACE. Now we move on to question number two of the day. Acute lymphocytic leukemia is commonly seen in people of which age group? Acute lymphocytic leukemia is commonly seen in people of which age group? Option A, 4 to 12 years. Option B, 20 to 30 years. Option C, 30 to 45 years. And Option D is 50 to 70 years. The right answer here, acute lymphocytic leukemia is most commonly seen in 4 to 12 years of children. The highest incidence of acute lymphocytic leukemia is in children of 4 to 12 years of age. It's the rational for the answer of second question. Question number 18. Correct position of hand placement during chest compression is Option A, anywhere along this sternum. Option B, lower portion of this sternum. Option C, middle portion of this sternum. And option B, upper portion of this sternum. The right answer here, the correct position of hand placement during chest compression is lower portion of this sternum. Let's see the rational. Use your fingers to locate the end of the person's breast bone where the ribs come together. Place two fingers at the tip of the breast bone. Place the heel of the other hand right above your fingers. Let's go to question number 19. All are true in relation to Schilling's test except option A. The Schilling's test is used to determine whether the body absorbs vitamin B12. Option B. 24 hour urine sample is required for this test. Option C, test is performed in four stages. Option D, NPO is not required for this procedure. Let's see the right answer for question number 19. The right answer here, NPO is not required for this procedure. Let's see the rational. Silex test is a medical investigation used for patients with vitamin B12 deficiency. The purpose of this test is to determine whether the patient has pernicious anemia. The test is performed in four stages and patient preparation like NPO is required for this procedure. That's why this is the right answer. Next question. The nurse is providing CPR after cardiac cardiopulmonary arrest. Which of the following initial assessment finding indicates that patient has been successfully resuscitated? Option A, positive Babinsky reflex. Option B, response to pain stimuli. Option C, palpable carotid pulse. Option D, pupils equal and reacts to light. Let's see the right answer here. In patient who is who gets CPR, the first the initial assessment finding indicates that the patient is having a palpable carotid pulse. The rational here, presence of a palpable carotid pulse indicates that the return of cardiac function, which together with the return of breathing, is the primary goal of CPR. Question number 21. The nurse is providing discharge teaching to an adult patient who had a permanent artificial pacemaker implanted. Which of the following information given by the nurse shows her knowledge is inadequate? 
regarding artificial pacemaker the option a the client should in the client should check the pulse rate once a day in the morning upon awakening option b the client may be allowed to use electrical appliances option c the client should have regular follow up care and option d the client may engage in contact sports note down that which of the following information given by the nurse shows her knowledge is inadequate regarding artificial pacemaker the right answer here is the client may engage in contact sports let's see the rational contact sports such as football basketball and cricket should be avoided as this may cause trauma to the area of pacemaker implantation next question common side effects of nitroglycerin includes option a high blood pressure option b headache option c shortness of breath option d constipation common side effects of nitroglycerin includes the right answer here is headache the rational here nitroglycerin is used in treating high blood pressure nitroglycerin is a nitrate it works by relaxing widening the blood vessels chest pain occurs when the heart rate when the heart needs more oxygen than it can get relaxing blood vessels allows blood to flow more easily this reduces heart workload and the amount of oxygen needed by the heart vasodilatory effects of nitroglycerin causes headache hypotension and dizziness let's go to next question water deprivation test is used for the diagnosis of option a diabetes mellitus option b diabetes insipidus option c siadh and d none of the above water deprivation test is used for the diagnosis of diabetic insipidus the rational here in diabetic insipidus water intake will be restricted in the person following that if the urine output is increases and the weight loss occurs in a person then the person is diagnosed as diabetes insipidus next question the changes associated with aplastic anemia is option a bowel function option b fluid deficit option c bladder function option d bleeding tendencies the changes associated with aplastic anemia is bleeding tendency is the right answer the rational here aplastic anemia affects the bone marrow which in turn affects all type of blood vessel and it causes bleeding tendencies next question which of the following electrolyte value can potentiate digitalis toxicity option a hypokalemia option b hyperkalemia option c hypocalcemia option d hypercalcemia which of the following electrolytes value can potentiate digitalis toxicity the right answer is hyperkalemia increase potassium level rational hy the right answer is hyperkalemia and the rational hyperkalemia controls ventricular response to atrial fibrillation and a derived form and it is derived from fox glow digoxin is the most commonly available cardiac glycoside and it is a positive inotropic agent it inhibits sodium potassium pump sodium and calcium level rises cholinergic stimulation via the vagus nerve of parasympathetic nervous system so no doubt here it is not hypokalemia it is hyperkalemia there is a typing error next question the full form of dash diet is option a dietary allowances to stop hypertension option b dietary aids to stop hypo 
hypertension. Option C, dietary approaches to stop hypertension. Option B, dietary assistance to stop hypertension. The full form of DASH diet is dietary approaches to stop hypertension. Question number 28. The rational for question number 27 answer, dietary approaches to stop hypertension. Diet modification is effective treatment to reduce blood pressure, especially in stage 1 hypertension. Now move on to question number 28. Normal therapeutic range of serum digoxin is 0.2 to 0.5 nanogram per ml, 0.5 to 2.2 nanogram per ml, 2.2 to 3 nanogram per ml and option D is 3 to 4 nanogram per ml. Normal therapeutic range of serum digoxin is 0.5 to 2.2 nanogram per ml. Normal therapeutic level of digoxin is 0.5 to 2.2 nanogram per ml. 29th question. Heart sound corresponds to heart sounds corresponds to option A closure of the aortic and pulmonic wall. Option B, closure of the aortic wall. Option C, closure of the mitral and tricuspid wall. Option D, closure of the mitral wall. The right answer here, heart sounds corresponds to the closure of the aortic and pulmonic wall. The rational here, yes to or second heart sound is produced by the closure of the semilunar wall, namely the pulmonic and aortic wall. The last question of the day, most sensitive cardiac maker is option A, creatine kinase, creatinine kinase, option B, lactate dehydrogenase, option C, crackles, option D, wheezing. The most sensitive cardiac maker is troponin. The right answer is troponin. The rational here, troponin is the most sensitive and specific cardiac marker. That's the end of today's question. Thanks for watching this video. You also can join in our WhatsApp group for AIMS learners, AIMS aspirants. To join, you please send request to this number 9050724820. We will add you in this group. Once again, I thank you all for watching this video. Please comment about this video and like this video. And those who have not yet subscribed this channel, Please subscribe now to Sacto Carry Online Nursing Channel. Thank you all again. Meet you soon with another 15 questions from endocrine system. Thank you. Bye.